गुड इवनिंग गुड स्टार्टेड induction motor so construction ye kaise hoga सो टू पार्ट्स है इसको भी स्टेटर और रोटर स्टेटर और रोटर होगा राइट स्टेटर और रोटर होगा तो मतलब स्टेटर ये वाला रोटर को स्टेटर इफ यू वांट टू की पॉइंटिंग रखने के लिए इसके ऊपर दिस स्टेटर सिंक्रोनस मशीन भी कंस्ट्रक्शन ही सा है लेकिन डिफरेंस क्या होता है इधर स्टेटर में दोनों में सेम है सिंक्रोनस मशीन में जैसे हमने शॉर्ट पिचिंग कर लिया और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग वेडिंग कर दिया स्टेटर इज सेम एज सेम एज सिंक्रोनस मशीन रोटर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस हियर नाउ रोटर हियर नो नो सप्लाई टू रोटर देयर इज नो सप्लाई मतलब नो सेपरेटली एक्साइटेशन गिवन सिंक्रोनस मशीन हमने क्या किया हमने रोटर को ठीक है रोटर को डीसी सप्लाई दिया डीसी एक्साइटेशन बट इन इंडक्शन मोटर देयर इज नो डीसी सप्लाई गिवन टू द रोटर इनफैक्ट नो सप्लाई गिवन टू द रोटर तो कैसे पोल बन जाएगा फिर पोल बन जाएगा मतलब स्टेटर स्टेटर को थ्री फेस सप्लाई देना चाहिए सो इफ यू गिव द थ्री फेस सप्लाई टू द स्टेटर थ्री फेस सप्लाई देना चाहिए हाउ आर वी गिविंग हिम नाउ ए बी सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल करंट इज आई आई एम कॉस ओमेगा टी आई बी ये वाला थ्री फेस सप्लाई है आई सी टू फोर्टी ठीक है, so when you give the current, इसके साथ flux भी आएगा, ठीक है, flux and it generates MMF also. MMF can be written as I told you MMF is dependent on the time and the flux. So ये वाला current A phase में MMF कैसे लिख सकते? Cos omega t cos theta. So many just one point time. Now the time is six fifteen molo. Now you are given the supply. At the same time, but अलग अलग space distance में. Same time में इधर different flux होगा, इधर अलग flux होगा, अलग flux होगा, अलग flux होगा. One time different fluxes I can see at different thetas. That's what I'm writing. So corresponding MMF is FM. Cos omega t 120, cos theta minus 120. This is same thing which is happening in the synchronous machine also called as rotating magnetic field. I think I have postponed this to here. Rotating magnetic field. 
So the rotating magnetic field is the same generated like a synchronous machine. Rotating magnetic field on the stator. If you add all these things, Ft is Fa, Fb, Fc. So 3 by 2 Fm cos theta minus omega t. 3 by 2 Fm cos theta minus omega t. Total mmf. Similarly, flux. Total flux is 3 by 2 phi m maximum flux cos theta minus omega t. So what is happening? Rotating magnetic field method. Poles are formed on the stator and those poles are rotating. Same as a state, same as a synchronous machine. Now, TKR supply the MNA, three phase supply, gaya. rotating magnetic field, poles, Jopi palm, is over, both the rotatory. So, torque rotate, mother torque generate, karne ke liye, either be flux on a rotor may be flux on a chai, to kai se a chai. So, that's a principle. Principle is same Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction. Electro magnetic induction. So the in, this one is same as a transformer. Transformer may kya over either supply there primary may secondary may induce or EMF. Here also primary supply there. So Rotor is like a secondary. Rotor is like a secondary. What will happen here now? Marlo, you are a conductor. Rotor. And let me talk about the rotor here now. How the rotor is being formed. I will come to that point. Principle is same here now. Let me talk about the rotor. So please mention this point. Rotating magnetic field is generated on the stator. like the synchronous machine. Right. So before coming to the rotor, let me talk about stator slots. Stator slots, sign right? up. There are three varieties of slots. Okay. So something like here now, open slots, semi-closed. So I did not discuss about this in synchronous machine. So this is closed slots. Okay, common topic. So how this will be here now, open slots. For example, this is the one I'm talking about. You are a rotor and this is the stator here now. I want to talk about the stator which is formed here. Either the Yevala portion rocker room. This is the stator. This stator slot I am highlighting here now. So this one is rotor anyway. So how this will be here, open slot. You have a portion many rocker. Right? Something like this. Okay. And on top of this one is rotor, of course. This is the one. Rotor is like this is the one. I'm talking about this one. Evala portion. So the conductors are placed here. Now you can see completely open. So this is the open slot.
वॉट एवर आई एम शोइंग यू नो दिस इज एर गैप मतलब स्टेटर एंड रोडर के बीच में एक गैप है हम नाउ वट इज एडवांटेज हिट नाउ एडवांटेज इज रोटर ऑफ स्टेटर है ना फ्लक्स दोनों फ्लक्स जनरेट होता है सो म्यूचुअल फ्लक्स ज्यादा होगा मतलब लीकेज फ्लक्स कम होगा वॉट इज एडवांटेज मतलब दोनों देर इज नो नो वन इज देर इन बिटवीन दिस रोटर एंड स्टेटर सो नो लीकेज फ्लक्स और लेस लीकेज फ्लक्स नो लीकेज फ्लक्स लेस लीकेज फ्लक्स मीन्स लेस लीकेज रियक्ट एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज क्या है ओपन स्लॉट का वजह से बिकॉज देर इज वन क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन गेट एग्जाम इसलिए तो सिलेबस में मैंने ये भी एड कर लिया इससे पहले मतलब I was not I was not discussing these things, but there was a question in gate about the slot, so I started adding to my my notes. So disadvantage क्या होता है? What is the disadvantage? Opening ज़्यादा है ना? So it's got reluctance more, and it requires more excitation. So opening is more, so more more excitation. is needed pf is poor power factor is less you can mention this point because of wide opening of slots because of wide opening of slot that was giving the disadvantage of open slot because of wide opening of slot average air gap average air gap length is more Average air gap length. You can see this is the one. So reluctance is more. So reluctance is more. Hence, it requires more excitation. Hence, it requires more excitation. And power factor is less, less power factor. Similarly, if we talk about the closed, open, ये वाला open slotting, closed, closer slots means both are kind of closed. Rotor, this is rotor. And stator here now. You have somewhere your connector is somewhere. There is no kind of connection. I mean, there is no opening here. Rotor to stator and to L gap. Nothing. Your connector is here. So this one is closed slots. So what is the kind of advantage here now? Closed slot means whatever we feel here now, disadvantage is becomes advantage here. Excitation come my, because the area length come my, excitation come, right? And the magnetizing current is less, so power factor is better. So what are the advantage here now? What are the disadvantage? You write it. Opposite one, mu is less, magnetizing current like transformer, PF is high. एंड सेमी क्लोज के लिए इन दोनों के बीच में होगा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लेट मी लिस्ट डाउन हियर नाउ सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ओपन स्लॉट सेमी क्लोज 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 होता ही है सेमी क्लोज मत इतना ओपनिंग नहीं होगा सेमी क्लोज आई विल शो यू दैट आल्सो सेमी क्लोज सो देयर वाज अ गेट क्वेश्चन सो आई वाज डूइंग दिस So semi-closed means not this much opening. Yes, there is, but not much. Okay, slightly like this. Semi-closed. Not much.
and this is the conductor we keep it here let me give the differences here now in terms of magnetizing current no load power factor and leakage reactance i'll show you in this slot so that you understand better let me note down here what is the parameter we are dealing this is open slot semi closed closed slot this is stator kelly first one is magnetizing current what is magnetizing current i am i mu to magnetize your coat so i told you i mu for open slot is greater than i mu for semi closed than this closed i hope you understand this closed ke liye magnetizing current come by since the magnetizing current is less power factor so what is the power factor here now it can be no load and it can be load power factor cos phi is less than cos phi e is less than cos phi wherever the magnetizing current matlab magnetizing current kam hoga uska power factor better hai matlab this is higher cos phi this is higher cos phi higher is a better value magnetizing current lower is a better value i talked about the leakage reactance also so i talked about the leakage reactance so leakage reactance kisko jyada hoga i told you there is no leakage flux i mean leakage flux bahut kam hai isko so xl will be less and xl will be less here now xl here now for closed ke liye closed ke liye leakage reactance or leakage flux jyada hoga aisa hi yahan bhi bahut yahan bhi kam hoga So these are the sum of the differences for open and semi-closed this thing. And since the magnetizing current is more, if we talk about the torque, it can be starting torque or maximum torque, running torque. I'm talking about the torque. We'll discuss that anyway. DC machine, I'm going to discuss Kardi already, right? So the torque will be for this one. Open slot will have a more torque compared to a kind of closed slots. So compared to all three, which one is suitable? ठीक है यार हमको क्या चाहिए? एक में मान लो आप आपको अगर मान लो इसको मैग्नेट ओपन स्लॉट वाले यूज़ कर दिया लाइक मैग्नेटिक करंट ज़्यादा है, which is a disadvantage. ओपन स्लॉट यूज कर दिया लीकेज रिएक्टेंस इज कम आई व्हिच इज अ मोर एडवांटेजेस सो इसलिए ये वाला मैग्नेटाइज करंट ज्यादा हुआ तो लीकेज रिएक्टेंस कम हो रहे तो इसलिए इफ यू यूज दिस और दिस वी हैव सम डिसएडवांटेजेस सो व्हाट वी डू मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वी प्रेफर सेमी क्लोज्ड सो दैट वी हैव इंटरमीडिएट थिंग्स फॉर बोथ सो प्रैक्टिकली सेमी क्लोज्ड स्लॉट्स आर प्रेफर्ड practically semi closed slots are preferred okay and and for dc machine of course uh, we pref we we used to have some uh, open type slots and it depends upon it depends upon the requirement but agar aapne aisa wala use kar diya to so we'll be having the parameters variations like this here some question somewhere in the power factor related गेट में पूछा है वन मार्क क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द रोटर नाउ स्टेटर के बारे में हो गया स्टेटर के ऊपर थ्री फेस वाइंडिंग रखा है थ्री फेस सप्लाई दिया रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आ गया 
स्लॉट्स तो आपको तीन तरीके का स्लॉट्स होगा ऐसा रख दिया स्टेटर होने के बाद रोटर के बारे में डिस्कस करो What what is that is specific about the rotor here now? Because the rotor is completely different from the synchronous machine. So rotor based on the rotor construction, there are two types. One is a kind of first one is two varieties. Spiral gauge. Spiral gauge induction motor. Second one is slip ring induction motor, or this can be called as wound rotor. So, what is spiral gauge induction motor? Spiral means what is the meaning of spiral? Really? Right, that's a spiral. So, how this construction will be there? It's a normal rotor. It, it is not having any winding. No winding is kept. In the sense, no winding. In the sense, no special winding is required. In slots, you have a slot something like in like this. You have a slot here now. Keep the slot, and conductors are placed. And the front side is short circuited. And back side is short circuit. That's all. Nothing we we are doing. Slot may conductors rakho. Something like twelve conductors, whatever the conductors throughout the periphery. Uh, usko front side, back side short circuit karo. That is a squirrel gauge induction motor. So what is the disadvantage here? Now squirrel gauge induction motor it has low starting torque. It has Low starting torque here now. Low starting torque मतलब starting में ज़्यादा torque होना चाहिए। मैंने बता दिया bike के bike के scenario में bike में क्या आप चालू करना तो पहले तो first gear में डालना है क्योंकि torque ज़्यादा चाहिए moment के लिए क्योंकि energy ज़्यादा है। So इसलिए first gear में डालना है। अगर top gear में डाल दिया तो चालू नहीं होगा। It won't get on. So which means that for anything that is rotating, we require more torque. So even here also motor is rotating, ज़्यादा torque चाहिए load carry करने के लिए. In spiral case, there is something called as a cogging effect आ जाएगा. We'll discuss in detail about cogging later. Cogging means what will happen is for certain combinations of rotor and slots. मतलब मान लो ये वाला stator का slot है, ये वाला S1 is rotor का slot है. For some integer matter, for example, this is say 42. Say for example, this is Something like uh, uh, eight. What is this one? Or six? A twelve one. Twelve liya to forty eight. For example, the evala rot stator slot say evala uh, rotor slot say forty eight and twelve. That is four into twelve. For such kind of combinations, what will happen? There is a property called cogging. Magnetic locking ho jayega stator or rotor ko. Ye dono lock ho jayega. So once this get locked, matlab, it won't get rotated. So to avoid that, we have something called a skewed rotor. We do a skewing on the rotor. Matlab, squirrel gauge induction motor, hum kya karenge? I'll discuss cogging in detail, don't worry. So what, rather than having a straight line, so that this is getting locked with the stator slots, I skewed this one like this. Skewed rotor to avoid cogging. You can mention this point here now. Squirrel gauge induction motor has low starting torque. Squirrel gauge induction motor has low starting torque. Hence, hence, due to cogging, due to cogging, motor will not get start 
occasionally. Due to cogging, motor will not get start occasionally. You can mention what is cogging. Cogging is a magnetic locking. What is cogging? Cogging is a magnetic locking between between stator and rotor. Magnetic locking between stator and rotor at the time of starting conditions. At the time of starting conditions. It can be avoided. It can be avoided by skewing the skewing the rotor slots. It can be avoided by skewing the rotor slots. Okay. Right. Another one is slip ring induction motor. Second one is slip ring induction motor. How the slip ring induction motor is there? Is the rotor ka winding hai na? Jaise stator mein hoga three phase. Same three phase will be wound for the rotor also. So that's a slip ring induction motor here na? Something like here na? For example, I have a stator. I'm representing induction motor. This is a stator. And this is rotor. You want a rotor, eh? Rotor is rotating. Rotating, and so rotor with three phase won't cardia. Slip ring induction motor. What we do is there are slip rings here now. Which is being connected here. So slip rings are placed, and from there, and you take here now all three out. So what we do? There is an option of adding external resistance. Look at this one. So this is you can see here now. So we have an external resistance. Rotor circuit ko humne external rotor rotor rotator hai na. Rotor circuit ko external resistance connect kar diya. We can adjust. So of course slip ring ke upar brushes bhi hoga from here now. So means please mention this point. Slip ring induction motor rotor has three phase three phase bond. Three phase one, three phase one, and external resistance is connected through the slip rings. External resistance is connected to rotor circuit through the slip rings. Okay. And it has high starting torque. Or rather, you can mention by adjusting the rotor resistance. I'll tell you these things anyway. Uh, well, actually comes, actually concept comes, but like in Abhi bold down for the Q resistance. By increasing the rotor resistance, we can increase the starting torque. Please mention that point. By increasing the rotor resistance. By increasing the rotor resistance, starting torque, starting torque can be increased. Okay.
Now, as far as construction is concerned, area. If we talk about the air gap, I have told you about the air gap. The air gap is more than the state or rotor gap. It needs more than the magnetizing current. So the power factor will burst. Let us see now what is happening here now. By the principle, then I'll come to this point. Why the motor is rotating here now? Principle ka case. Mein. Principle. Or working. So what are we doing here now? So you have given three phase supply to this stator. So then poles are formed, yes. Not then, so rotating magnetic field matra, you are rotatory. For example, poles are rotating in clockwise direction. Then if you model up a squirrel gauge induction motor, Leah, this is the squirrel gauge induction motor. Conductors are placed. What is happening? For example, I have a conductor here. Now, Marlo, this is a conductor. This is a conductor. This is a conductor. This is a coil. Marlo, both are connected and closed. Rotor, rotor winding is closed. Then what will happen here? This is a position 1. T equal to 0. Since this is a rotating magnetic field, so what will happen? Rotating magnetic field what the poles hai na? Jo bhi poles form ho gaya, wo wala aage rotate hoga. That's what meaning of rotating magnetic field. This is north and this is south. Just a random. Lekin hamara rotor hai na? Rotor maan lo idhar hi pada hai. Idhar hi pada hai to kya hoga? Conductor bhi idhar hi hai. Se maan lo A A dash. Either be A A dash. Now tell me either flux ketna A A dash me Janewala magnetic flux say phi 1 T1 here. At T2 Abi Bolena A A dash to Janewala flux same phi 1 noga alag flux noga. I want to have the answer from you guys. Critical point mene kya bolna with that. अगर मान लो आपका फ्लक्स स्टेटर फ्लक्स इधर आई तो मेन फ्लक्स मतलब मैग्नेटिक एक्सिस में है सो ज्यादा फ्लक्स मिल जाएगा इसको अगर रोटर स्टेटर का पोल्स इसका पोजीशंस बदल गया क्यों बदल गए यार क्योंकि रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है जब आपने थ्री फेस सप्लाई दिया जाएगा समय जो भी पोल स्टेटर के ऊपर फॉर्म हो गया वो वाला रोटेट हो जाएगा इस कंटीन्यूअसली रोटेट होता रहता है इस तो मैंने एक पोजीशन में देख लिया कि आपका रोटर स्टेटर पुल सीधा तक आ गया तो उस समय रोटर के ऊपर कंडक्टर से ना इसमें फ्लक्स कितना दिखेगा नहीं तो इसको रोटर को रोटर कंडक्टर्स को ये दोनों कंडक्टर्स को कितना फ्लक्स मिलेगा इज इट सेम फ्लक्स और डिफरेंट फ्लक्स I want to know the answer for this. Is it same flux or different flux? Kya alag goga? Ito same hoga ya. The simple question hai na. Definitely this flux is different kyunki position change hoga ya na. So definitely the flux will be different. Sahu, that's correct. So when the flux is different and the time is different, EMF is induced according to Faraday's law minus n2 so d so flux phi 1 minus phi 2 upon of course d by dt so t1 or t2 minus t1 you can take out change in flux in so the emf is non-zero here definitely n2 is rotor turns and now when e2 comes then what will happen i2 will come e2 and i2 are emf induced in the rotor currents are in the rotor when I2 comes here now, flux or rotor also comes. I have a already stator flux phi s. 
rotating magnetic field form okay phi stator so phi stator i have already abhi kya ye wala current rotor mein aa gaya na phi rotor bhi aa gaya ye dono interact hoga torque is produced torque is phi stator and phi rotor and sign of angle between these two or you can obtain a resultant flux of phi r equal to phi stator plus phi rotor and that also you can say torque is proportional to and phi rotor and phi r and sin of angle between sin theta theta is angle between them like that ek baar torque aa gaya na to rotor rotate ho gaya so meaning one point i want to highlight here now can you please also tell me one more thing please tell me abhi kya hoga rotor chalu ho jayega abhi rotor chalu ho gaya at a speed of n rotor is rotating at a speed of n is rotor speed ns is this speed of rotating magnetic field rotating magnetic field speed tell me now ki gaya abhi chalu ho gaya rotor agar maan lo aapne rotor ye rotor ka speed stator flux ka speed dono same hua to for example look at the picture here now i'm making on my video uh look at guys can you see me what i'm doing here uh um, one okay for example bench अगर मान लो रोटर और स्टेटर दोनों एक ही स्पीड में जा रहे एक ही स्पीड में जा रहे मतलब मान लो अभी टाइम सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स फिफ्टी एक फ्लक्स मिला इधर मान लो फाइव एक मिनट के बाद और थर्टी सेकंड्स के बाद दोनों स्पीड एक ही है तो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम आल्सो सेम रोटर का और स्टेटर फ्लक्स का तो इधर का पोजीशन में कितना फ्लक्स आएगा इधर का पोजीशन में कितना फ्लक्स आएगा मान लो इधर फ्लक्स आपको फाइव मिला तो थोड़ी देर बाद सेम पोजिशन है मतलब डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दम इज सेम तो फ्लक्स कितना मिलेगा सेम फ्लक्स मिलेगा When both are rotating at same speed, rotor also rotating at the same speed of rotating magnetic field, then what will happen here? At T1, कितना flux मिलेगा? T2 पे उतना ही flux मिलेगा. ये बात समझ में आ गई आपको? Rotor rotor runs at the same speed of synchronous uh, rotating magnetic field. ये वाला same speed में गया, तो ये भी same speed में गया. मतलब something like two people started journey. With some distance, running race में मान लो एक बंदा आगे जा रहे दूसरा पीछे मतलब there is a two meter distance, two meter distance. What will happen? Both are running at same speed. इन दोनों के बीच में यही distance होगा. Even after ten minutes, both are running at same speed. Even after ten minutes, the same same distance maintain होगा. मतलब इन दोनों का distance same है. तो इन दोनों का बीच में flux जो भी होगा वो भी constant होगा. समझ गए बात सो मींस अदरवाइज इफ वन इज रोटेटिंग हाई स्पीड वन इज लो स्पीड मान लो वाला स्टेटर रोटेटर है स्टेटर ज्यादा स्पीड में रोटर कम स्पीड में स्टेटर ज्यादा स्पीड में रोटर कम स्पीड में स्टेटर ज्यादा स्पीड सो क्या होगा एवरी पॉइंट यू कैन सी अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्लक्स रोटर विल सी अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्लक्स सो चेंज इन फ्लक्स आ जाएगा इधर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो देन ईएमएफ आएगा यू गेट द पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट सो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग कंक्लूजन हियर इज नाउ to get the emf in rotor to get the current in rotor to get the flux in rotor to get the torque in rotor to get the rotation in rotor and the rotor has to rotate always less than ns 
rotor should rotate at a synchronous speed less than the synchronous speed to get a torque on the rotor please mention this point it should run at a slip speed i am writing a slip here now so look at here now slip slip can be written as slip of rotor n by ns so this can be yes yes which is equal to ns minus n by ns so s n s so n equal to n s minus s n s the speed of the rotor is this is one and always and of course slip is between zero to one for motor so please write on this point here rotor should always rotate yet rotor should always rotate yet less than synchronous speed less than synchronous speed such that such that change in flux is obtained with respect to time such that change in flux is obtained change in flux is obtained with respect to time hence emf induced emf induced and torque is generated emf induced and current produced emf induced current produced and torque generated slip slip can be defined as you can define a slip or slip speed okay now emf induced what is that one emf induced let us see e2 e2 hai na e2 or e1 what is the formula stator is same whatever the formula we have let me do it here now shall i raise this one shall i raise the screen okay now the emf induced in the rotor or even stator stator emf is e1 which is same expression 4.44 this is modulo phi stator okay frequency f1 turns turns stator ka turns hai n1 and kp kd this is same flux stator f1 is supply what is f1 f1 is supply frequency what is e1 em emf induced in stator n1 is of course turns per phase stator turns of course per phase everything is per phase only then e2 also emf induced okay na same thing 4.44 of course modulo phi rotor right 
frequency is f2 here and rotor cut turns n2 and kp kp1 i don't have i mean uh, if it is a kind of square leg there is no kp kd if it is a slip ring there will be kp kd also but the intention is here now look at this rotor frequency currents i want to talk about the rotor frequency currents rotor rotor current frequency rotor current or emf whatever it may be its frequency chahiye now tell me here now frequency how do you write the frequency here now normally frequency term is f equal to np by 120 f equal to np by 120 if stator if you want stator f1 equal to ns p by 120 what do you mean by this ns is rotating magnetic field p by 120 what are we doing here now f2 we are calculating f2 look at here now rotor may induce hone wala currents hai rotor alag speed mein ja rahe rotor ka currents alag speed mein ja rahe rotor ka currents or rotor ka emf that is going at a speed of ns please understand the things all electrical and magnetic quantities are sinusoidal all electrical magnetic quantities are sinusoidal matlab e1 or e2 i1 i2 f1 f2 phi1 phi2 all these are electrical quantities one is stator two is rotor and the resultant one also rotor. sinusoidal running at a speed of ns all waves are going at a speed of ns but only rotor is running at a speed of n rotor kya n speed mein rotate ho raha hai when you are writing the frequency here now always a relative speed the relative speed of rotor currents with respect to the rotor idhar kya hai relative speed of stator flux with respect to the stator for example i'll tell you one point here when two buses are going in the same direction look at here now both the buses aap ek bus mein baitha hua hai dusra bus aapke cross kar raha hai you are going at 80 km per hour other guy is going at 100 km per hour so what you see here now aap samajh mein aa raha hai matlab aap ka observation kya hoga aapko lagta hai ki aapko bagal mein jo bhi bus travel kar rahi hai wo wala 20 km per hour mein travel kare aaram se see the slowly is moving and even you can shake hand with the other passenger also utna slow mein jayega kyunki relative speed aap dikha rahe ho 20 agar maan lo aapne ek taraf left to right ja rahe ye door vehicle opposite mein aa rahe to aapko kya lagega the speed of the other with a kind of full sound and the crossing of vehicle will happen in a fraction of second So, you know, when you are going this way, vehicles are coming opposite direction. What you see is a relative speed, which is the addition of the both the speeds. You understand what I am speaking? Addition of the both the speeds. So means here also relative speed आना चाहिए. So what we are doing here, frequency of the rotor currents means the rotating speed of the or rotating speed of the currents with respect to the rotor. so means in this case all currents or emfs are rotating at a speed of ns and relative speed rotor ka speed is ni relative speed of rotor currents with respect to rotor both are in the same direction so ns minus n and poles upon 120 so how can i write this one ns minus there is a gate question i'll i'll give the what is that question ns ko kar sakte and ns se multiply divide karo and 120 ns by 120 ns p by 120 this is f1 or f rather i would say supply frequency so your f2 equal to this is slip and ns by p is stator frequency stator emf f2 equal to say what are the questions here now that are being asked i told you anything is ns all electrical magnetic quantities are ns except the rotor tell me now if i ask you one question agar maan lo maine ek question pucha ki what is the relative speed of please understand carefully 
what is the relative speed of stator flux mollo stator flux with respect to rotor two things i have dekhna chahiye all are rotating in the same direction only so i asked you a question what is the relative speed of stator flux with respect to the rotor what did this answer relative speed stator flux kitna speed mein jayega stator speed mein kitna stator flux kitna speed mein jayega stator flux i told you ns speed mein all electrical magnetic quantities ns mein jayega flux mmm current voltage whatever i ask it is going at a speed of ns with respect to the stationary body stationary body kya idhar humko stator hai stationary body is kind of stator so now tell me what is the relative speed of stator flux with respect to the rotor what is this one this is ns a rotor ka speed is n okay fine then second question relative speed of rotor flux with respect to the stator flux relative speed of rotor flux with respect to the stator flux what is this value what is the relative speed what is the speed of these two here relative speed of rotor flux and stator flux maine bata diya rotor flux and stator flux all quantities will run at a speed of ns so its answer is ns minus ns which is zero both are running at same speed at least you should answer one please second one relative speed of resultant flux or relative speed of stator mmf stator mmf is fs with respect to the rotor relative speed of stator flux with respect to the rotor can you tell me what is this value stator mmf i told you ns rotor is this one ns minus ns when both are rotating in the same direction yes in a machine may uh, induction motor may all are kind of rotating in the same direction i hope you understand this point so isliye humne likha hai okay now to generate a torque rotor circuit has to be closed otherwise rotor current will not come rotor flux will not come mention that point also please to generate a torque rotor winding should be closed to generate a torque rotor winding should be closed otherwise torque is not zero torque is zero Okay, fine. Now, let us see the rotor equivalent circuit. Rotor equivalent circuit. We have induced a EMF E two. I told you E two. E two equal to some value. I told you four point four four rotor ka flux phi of rotor frequency and rotor turns. And KP KD. If it is a slip ring, a wound rotor, we have KP KD also. Tell me now, it is proportional to F two. For example, if we say E two is the EMF under rotor standstill. Rotor standstill. I mean, what is the meaning of rotor standstill? The speed equal to zero. This is the meaning of rotor standstill. then what is the slip here slip kya hoga ns minus n by ns so ns minus 0 ns slip equal to 1 so now e2 is the emf induced in the rotor when the rotor is under stand still if it is rotating at a slip of yes if rotor is rotating if rotor is rotating at slip yes then 
what is e what is e r matlab look at here now road slip speed mein ja rahi to f2 kya hoga what will happen f2 under stand still mein f2 kya hoga what will happen f2 under stand still if this is stand still what is f2 f2 equal to sf so f2 is 1 into f so which is same as the stator frequency if rotor is rotating at a slip yes frequent ye wala kya hoga s times f so then f2 equal to s times f samajh gaye na baat so what will happen if e2 is the rotor e2 is the emf induced in rotor under stand still if rotor is rotating at a slip yes the emf will be what is emf emf is s e2 s times e2 because it's proportionate only frequency so frequency now has become sf okay let me draw that one so equivalent circuit here of rotor right i have se2 induced and rotor has a resistance r2 and this this one what will happen x2 here now look at the reactance also will be there for rotor ke liye so if x2 is the if x2 is reactance yet uh, rotor stands say that is s equal to 1 i know x2 equal to l omega l into omega is 2 pi f2 f2 has become sf here now so what will happen here now this will become x2 so means i can say here now this is jx2 i can say mention this point here now if u2 is the emf induced if u2 is the emf induced when the rotor is under stand still and the emf induced in the rotor emf induced in the rotor if it rotates at the slip yes emf induced in the rotor if it rotates at slip yes e is yes e2 similarly if x2 is the rotor reactance if x2 is the rotor reactance when the rotor is at rest if x2 is the rotor reactance when rotor is at rest then reactance then the reactance if it rotates at slip yes then the reactance if it rotates at slip yes is sx2 okay and the equivalent circuit of rotor is you can see here now equivalent circuit let me this is the equivalent circuit of rotor i can modify this also further i'll draw it here now so i2 can be written as phasor se2 r2 plus jx2 jsx2 what i do i'll take s common i2 phasor all are phasor e2 bar by s common le lo 
R2 by S JX2. Can I write? SS get cancelled so I2 is E2 by R2 by S JX2. All are phased. Meaning, is ko kaise draw kar sakte hai? Both are same, right? This is same and this is same. Both the currents are same. Nothing I have done. Just to, in another form I have written. So is ko kaise lik sakte? This is more useful for us than this one. So what I do here now? Voltage is E2. Current is I2. And it is JX2. And resistor is R2 by S. Do you agree with me? From now onwards, I'll write this expression. E2 is the voltage. Resistance is R2 by S. JX2 here now. Since the speed is changing, I can show this as a variable. Here resistance variable. I think slip is variable. So this one is a rotor equivalent circuit. Okay. Just copy that one. I'll see one or two problems, then you'll understand the things better. So look at this one. Question one problem will solve it. I'll write it here now. Write in the problem yourself the frequency and induced voltage. Right. Write on a problem. I'll list off. The frequency and induced voltage in the rotor of frequency and induced voltage in the rotor of Six pole, six pole, slip ring induction motor. Six pole, slip ring induction motor. Whose shaft is blocked? Whose shaft is blocked? Shaft blocked means rotor speed is zero. Whose shaft is blocked R F2? I'm giving 50 hertz rotor ka speed zero hai, us samay, rotor ka frequency and rotor ka voltage is 100 volts. I repeat the problem. The frequency and induced voltage in the rotor of six pole slip ring induction motor whose shaft is blocked are 50 hertz and 100 volt respectively. Okay, now the question is, determine the, determine the, frequency and induced EMF, frequency and induced EMF in the rotor, Frequency and induced EMF in the rotor if it is running at 960 RPM, if it is running at 960 RPM, 960. What I want is here now if N is 960, what is E2? What is F2? I told you already, if it is rotate 960 means some slip. So E2 will be SE2 and F2 will be SF2. That's what I told you in the beginning itself. So 
or if you have few consider this one you can make this as a just a notation for that i need to calculate the slip what is the slip here slip which is equal to ns minus n by ns ns how do you obtain ns ns is equal to 120f by p like in frequency they say rotor ka frequency the stand still me स्टेटर का फ्रीक्वेंसी कहा है ये वाला स्टेटर का फ्रीक्वेंसी जब हमारा रोटर रोटेट नहीं हुआ उस समय जितना रोटर फ्रीक्वेंसी होगा उतना ही स्टेटर का फ्रीक्वेंसी है रिपीट द पॉइंट जब हमारा रोटर इज नॉट रोटेटिंग उस समय रोटर में जितना फ्रीक्वेंसी होगा उतना फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टेटर में होगा मीन्स ये वन ट्वेंटी इंटू फिफ्टी बाई सिक्स so this is 1000 rp moreover stand still rotor is like a transformer only here induction motor is like a transformer agar rotor rotate nahi hua primary secondary dono ek frequency hoga agar rotor rotate ho rahi that is called rotating transformer where stator and rotor are having a different frequencies rotating transformer where primary and secondary has a different frequency here rotor rotate nahi hua to dono stator aur rotor ka voltage aur current jo bhi aayega uska frequency ek hi hoga so to answer your question here now to answer the, the questions which are asked now the ns is the slip chahiye slip nikalna padega 1960 upon 1000 what is this value this is 40 by 1000 this is 0.04 so induced emf in the rotor when it is rotating at a slip of 0.04 will be uh, sahu how, how come point one sahu 1000 minus 960 right 960 means 40 by 1000 40 by 1000 right yeah? okay okay you are saying answer okay nice yes c2 is the voltage so 0.04 into 100 yeah so that's correct 0.04 so the emf induced in the rotor at a slip of 0.04 is 0.04 into 100 so this one is 4 volts and what is the frequency of the induced emf when rotating at 960 rpm sf which is 0.04 into 50 so the frequency is 2 hertz you can see here now so please understand here now when this is rotating rotor is rotating the rotor current frequencies are 2 hertz stator frequency is 50 hertz please mind my words different different frequency here it has a 50 hertz operating but the currents are here now 2 hertz so rotating transformer you can mention induction motor is a rotating transformer you can mention that point answer is done the whatever being asked that is being answered but another point i am writing here now induction motor is a rotating transformer induction motor is a rotating transformer where primary and secondary operates at different frequencies where primary and secondary operate at different frequency okay
So another problem, let me see here. Write down another question. This one you have to tell me. Okay, na? Yevala okay, na? Any doubt? Is my doubt again? Kuch problem hai? First problem hai induction motor ka. This kind of questions are asked. Exam mein puchha hai. Write down another problem. A six pole, a six pole, fifty hertz bond rotor induction motor. Six pole, fifty hertz bond rotor means slip ring. Bond rotor induction motor. When supplied at rated voltage and frequency. When supplied at Rated voltage and frequency with the slip rings with the slip rings open circuited with the slip rings open circuited develops a voltage of with the slip rings open circuit develops a voltage of 100 volts between any two rings develops the voltage of 100 volts between any two rings If the rotor is driven by external means, if the rotor is driven by external means, yet to thousand RPM, a rotor is driven by external means at thousand RPM, opposite to the direction of thousand rpm opposite to the direction of rotation of stator field opposite to the rotate opposite to the direction of rotation of stator field then Then find the voltage between slip rings and its frequency. Then find the voltage between slip rings and its frequency. What is that given here? First, listen here now. Very both are achieved is me. The problem solution. Six pole fifty hertz bond rotor. Sir, sir. Ah, ha, ha. Sir, please uh, repeat question, sir. One. Okay, 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 fine. The now rotor is driven by external means at a thousand RPM opposite to the direction of rotation of stator field. Then find the voltage between slip rings and its frequency find the voltage between slip rings and frequency kuch nahi hai idhar kya rotor open kar diya to rotor rotate nahi hoga maine bata diya rotor ko open kar diya to rotor ka current nahi aayega to rotor current nahi to torque nahi ban jayega torque nahi banta hai udhar torque nahi hua to rotor rotate nahi hoga ghumega bhi nahi तो अभी मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ रोटर घूमता नहीं उस समय वोल्टेज आता है समझ गए ना मैंने पहले ही बता दिया रोटर रोटेट नहीं होगा फिर भी वोल्टेज आएगा क्योंकि फ्लक्स अलग अलग 
चेंज हो रहे रोटर में तो वोल्टेज आएगा मीन दैट्स व्हाट आई हैव गिवन E2 is the voltage 100 volts when the rotor is stand still rotor to stand still hai isse pehla wala problem mein rotor circuit close hai lekin maine block kar diya stop kar diya so that it won't rotate idhar kya hai rotor ko open kar diya rotor circuit ko ye khud hi rotate nahi hoga so fir bhi kya hoga voltage to aayega 100 volts लेकिन टॉर्क नहीं आएगा आई टू जीरो क्योंकि ओपन है तो टॉर्क जीरो है स्पीड इज जीरो है देन उस समय ई टू हंड्रेड वोल्ट से उस समय एक्सटर्नल मीन एक्सटर्नल मोटर कनेक्ट करके रोटर को अभी रोटर कितना स्पीड में घूम रही है थाउजेंड आरपीएम में एक्सटर्नल मींस बाहर से एक मोटर लेके आया उसका मोटर को हमारा इंडक्शन मोटर को कनेक्ट कर दिया So, अभी रोटर ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में रोटेट करने से चालू हो गए नॉर्मली इंडक्शन मोटर इंडक्शन मोटर का रोटर विल नेवर रन ऑपोजिट द स्टेटर ऑफ स्टेटर रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेकिन इधर रोटर ओपन सर्कुलट कर दिया इसलिए मैं हम बाहर से मोटर लेके आया बाहर एक्सटर्नल मीन से रोटर रोटेट हो रहे ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में तो उस समय स्लिप क्या हो गया मैंने बता दिया When the rotor is kind of rotating at a slip, yes, voltage is कितना होगा? Yes, U two है. हमको yes U two चाहिए. लेकिन अभी yes क्या है? Yes C is N S minus N by N S. लेकिन इधर N S minus ये वाला opposite direction में जा रही है. मतलब both are in same direction N S minus N. So now this is an opposite direction minus N upon S. So N S कितना है? आप एन एस कैलकुलेट करो वन ट्वेंटी एफ बाई पी तो मैंने दिया वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी हर्ट सिक्सटी सो सिक्सटी उस एंड दिस इस थाउजेंड आरपीएम सो नाउ व्हाट इज दिस वैल्यू हियर थाउजेंड स्पीड थाउजेंड एंड आपोसिट डायरेक्शन में थाउजेंड बाय थाउजेंड व्हिच इस टू नाउ सी द स्लिप स्लिप इज मोर देन वन ओनली व्हेन हैपन व्� So our answer क्या है? हमारा आंसर क्या है हमको एस ई टू चाहिए सो वोल्टेज इंड्यूस वेन द रोटर इज रोटेटिंग एट ए स्लिप यस इज एस ई टू इसका वैल्यू क्या है टू इंटू हंड्रेड विच इज टू हंड्रेड और आंसर इज टू हंड्रेड नो सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज अवर फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी और सी एस एफ यस इज टू फिफ्टी एंड दिस विल बी नया चीज क्या है इसमें ये तो हमने पहले प्रॉब्लम कर दिया नया चीज क्या है स्लिप कैसे कैलकुलेट करना अगर मान लो अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में हुआ तो तो इसी तरह से कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा न्यू पॉइंट वी लॉ So I was talking about air gap length. Induction motor में air gap length ज़्यादा है. So air gap length. Air gap length means this is what you can see here now. ये वाला rotor है. And you can see this is stator. This one is stator, right? Stator. I mean, synchronous machine. Me induction motor. Air gap same. But 
इधर दिक्कत क्यों आ रही इधर क्योंकि ये वाला रोटर है ना रोटर इज बिकमिंग मैग्नेट फ्रॉम द स्टेट अराउंडिंग ओनली वन साइड एड सप्लाई दिस इज सिंगल फेड मोटर इंडक्शन मोटर इज सिंगल फेड मोटर सिंक्रोनस मशीन और सिंक्रोनस मोटर इज ड्यूएल फेड मोटर सिंक्रोनस मोटर बोथ द साइड सप्लाई इज गिवन तो इधर से इधर इसको मैग्नेटाइज करने के लिए दिस इज कॉल्ड व्हाट एवर द डिस्टेंस आई हैव गिवन हियर दिस इज कॉल्ड एयर गैप एयर गैप इफ इट इज मोर देयर आर सम एडवांटेज देयर आर सम डिसएडवांटेजेस एडवांटेज व्हाट इज दिस वन इफ एयर गैप इज मोर हियर नाउ एडवांटेजेस More air gap advantage. First one is cooling. Jada gap hai, so definitely improved cooling. Hawa jayega under, so cooling karega. Not much advantage here na. So one major thing is we can discuss this later. Is increased overload capacity. These are the major two advantages. लेकिन डिसएडवांटेज क्या होता है यार? डिसएडवांटेज इन द सेंस ज्यादा एयर गैप है ना सो मैंने पहले बता दिया तो मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट ज्यादा होगा आई मी यू यूज काइंड ऑफ वेरी हाई आई मी यू हाई कितना हाई बताए आपको दट इज थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ आई रेट अरे यार करंट में टोटल 100 एम्स करंट में 40 एम्स ये वाला कोर को मैग्नेटाइज करने के लिए जा रहे आइडियली कितना होना चाहिए मैंने ट्रांसफार्म ट्रांसफार्म में देखा है आइडियली हमको चाहिए मैग्नेटाइज करंट जीरो होना चाहिए लेकिन इधर इसको मैग्नेटाइज करने के लिए 30 टू 40 परसेंट सो दैट इज काइंड ऑफ गिविंग डिसएडवांटेज तो क्या होगा तो पावर फैक्टर इज लो ज्यादा मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट आए हमने ट्रांसफार्मर में देखा है नो लोड नो लोड में मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट डोमिनेटिंग है तो ओनली मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट विल कम सो पावर फैक्ट इज वेरी पोर अंडर लोड में मैग्नेटाइज करंट के साथ लोड करंट भी आएगा उस समय पावर फैक्टर इंप्रूव हो गए तो मीन्स ये ना हो पावर फैक्टर इज लो और पावर फैक्टर इज लेस ड्यू टू मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट दीज आर द सम ऑफ द डिसएडवांटेज Okay, that's about the air gap. Now, actual phasor diagrams we have to see. So then, this is so far a construction portion: stator and rotor, and scroll gear induction motor and uh, slipping induction motor. Then we need to draw the phasor diagrams. How these are linked, and the equivalent circuit combined together, right? That we can see tomorrow. In fact, so I'll stop for the day. So if you have anything, you can ask me. Otherwise, I can wind up the session for the day. Tomorrow, you can continue. No issues. So, is that? I mean, you just that you need to maintain some concentration. That's all. So, otherwise, you'll get deviated. Okay then. If you don't have anything, I'll wind up the session. Tomorrow we can discuss that. Okay then, Sabu. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Vice Master Sujita Vipin and others. Yeah, thanks, Pascal. Okay, see you tomorrow morning for oral tonics.